Hey folks, let me help you out and give you my experience of trying to fit the biggest tire on a stock Ford F-150 rim. So if you're like me, you clicked on this video trying to figure out what works, what doesn't work, and I watched 100 YouTube videos to figure out you know, what people put on their rig in terms of tire sizes. And it took me a while to figure this out and it took me two tire changes to get where I wanted. So these tires that I picked out are the Yokohama Geo Lander All-Terrains in size 295, 60, 20s. They are on my stock F-150 20 inch rims. I've got a two inch level and that is the big key to this tire fitting is my two inch levels. So if you do not have a leveling kit on your F-150, you might as well just skip this video because I doubt it's gonna work. But I started out ordering a 35 inch tire, hoping that it would work. We installed them at the, at the tire shop and I was getting a lot of rub on my upper control arms and on my uh, lower corner of my fender here. Now with this current setup, I do not have to trim anything. It does not rub at full lockup on the upper control arms. It clears my front fender at full turn, no issues. And I'll show that to you here in a second to give you an idea of how much clearance I actually have. But again, I've seen a lot of videos claiming that 35 inch tires will fit. And yes, the 35 inch tire fit inside this wheel well just fine. However, at full turn, I got rub and I can't deal with that. I had a truck years ago that had rub and it drove me crazy and I just didn't want to go with it. So we took the 35s off. We put the 295, 60, 20s on and I couldn't be happier. I, they, they fit perfect and it's a lot beefier than the stock 275, 60, 20s that came on this, on this truck. Now I will say I ran Coopers, Falcons, Nittos, and Toyos. And I think out of my personal experience that these Yokohamas look the best. They have the most aggressive sidewall out of any tires that I've ever had. Now, of course, you got your Mickey Thompson Bajas and your mud terrain tires. And I didn't want a mud terrain tire. I just wanted an all-terrain. And I think that these look the best and they are very, very quiet on the highway. So I think they're a pretty good, pretty good option. And they're actually a little bit cheaper than the Falcons. I ran Falcons on my last truck. And when I bought those, they were much cheaper than what they are now. And I've heard it's because everyone was buying the Falcons, so they raised the price up. Go figure. But let me show you folks what this tire looks like up close and the amount of clearance that I have on it. So you can see if it might be something, you know, that, that you would consider. So let me get you guys a, a quick close up of the actual sidewall of this so you can get a, a better, better look at it. Without any trimming whatsoever to my little plastic air dam, I have got about an inch and a quarter worth of clearance. I've got plenty up here. I've got plenty in the back. I've got almost two and seven eighths worth of clearance behind the tire. But let me put this thing to full lock up so you can watch it as I turn. So full turn to the left, clears perfectly fine, full turn to the right, clears perfectly fine, and then back to straight. There you go. You know, so again, I hope this video helped. If you're trying to figure out what you can actually fit on your truck without doing a whole bunch of modifications, I have to do no trimming. And again, with the two inch level, it fits just perfectly fine. I don't think this setup would work if you do not have a level on it, but with the stock tires that are plus 44 offset, they work fine. And I think again, they look so much better than the stock tires. And there's really not much of a poke So here's the view from behind. They, they come out just a little bit more than stock. And then up here in the front. And don't mind the lovely heart that my kids drew. But overall, I think these tires turned out really, really nice. Pretty good upgrade to the, the stock version. But that's it, just a quick simple video because I know that I looked at a lot of YouTube videos trying to figure out how big of a tire I could get and it took me two different sets to get these. So again, Yokohama Geolander ATs, size 295, 60, 20.